Hi, I'm Joe from Red's Fly Shop and we are in Campeche fishing for baby tarpon, having a wonderful week. And I'm gonna share with you just the setups I'm fishing and talk to you a little bit about rod and line selection. Uh, the first rod I have here is uh, Sage Salt R8. There are gonna be lots of other videos uh, that talk a lot about the rod, the materials, the design. But I'm fishing a nine weight and the consensus amongst our entire group from Reds here is a nine is the rod for baby tarpon uh, on this trip. Nice thing about the R8, uh, the group is all agreed. It's just a feel good rod. You can pitch it at close range around the mangroves. There seems to be a lot of flexibility right in the middle of the rod. And it just does a very gentle catapult. It's easy on your arm for a whole week of fishing really feels great and it doesn't lack in performance either so been very happy with it the line that i've got on this particular rod here i'm going to talk about two setups is a rio flats pro in the floating version uh, most people are going to take one fly line and it's going to be a floating fly line uh, it's going to be a floating fly line that you can generate some line speed one two three four false casts at most that still has a light enough delivery to lay the fly down soft. There's been some very technical casting in these glassy conditions. So the Flat Pro seems to be a real happy medium. This is the Elite Flats Pro of the Scientific Angler's Grand Slam is very similar. Uh, if you are new to this type of fishing, you could, you could have a, like a real outbound would make it a little easier to shoot line but you end up hanging up in the mangroves a lot when you're doing that technical casting. So the, the Flats Pro seems to be a nice happy medium. T-Bore Reel, you don't need a high-end top-end reel for baby tarpon. It's a good investment, but they're not so powerful that you really need a big substantial drag system. So the reel is a little bit less critical. So that's one of my setups. And if I had to choose one, I would say that's gonna be it uh, because of its ease of casting around the mangroves. The other line uh, in rod that I've got here is a Beulah G2 Platinum. And under a thousand bucks in the saltwater arena, the Beulah is very, very hard to beat. It's a different rod altogether though than the R8. It's a much faster rod. Uh, it's, it's a very sharp instrument. So I feel when I, when I say sharp, I mean, if you do it wrong, you get cut. If you do it right, it's like surgical precision. It's unbelievable. So I've got the Beulah nine weight set up. Uh, with what I would say my personally preferred line, and it's a, just a clear tip that sinks at about an inch and a half per second. Seven foot, six or seven foot sink tip. It's the Flats Pro again with this clear tip. And this is the one that I've been fishing primarily offshore. And uh, there's a lot of longer casting and that little sink tip seems to get down under uh, the grass as well. So. I've got a Galvin Grip reel on there. I think that's a heck of a bang for your buck. The Galvin Grip or the Galvin Torque. This is the sealed drag version. Uh, either one is a great choice. That's your personal preference, but a very nice instrument. And these two rods complement one another because offshore I can have my faster action Beulah when I'm really ready to launch into the teeth of the wind. And the R8, I could fish that out there as well, but that one is much more comfortable to cast around the mangroves. As far as general setup goes, we have found that longer leaders, especially on the floating lines, are gonna be better. And uh, it's a really simple gear set here, but I think I'm down to about, oh, seven feet a liter here. But I like to start with 10 pound to 40 pound fluorocarbon, run a loop knot down to my fly, and I'll do some other type of video, or you can follow, uh, follow us on our blog and I'll try to put a link in the video description once the blog article related to this specific trip is up we'll talk about fly selection but really simple leader selection 40 pound bite guard here because tarpon have so many sharp edges and rough spots around their mouth uh, and that's what I'm running but those are my two setups and uh, I've been very happy with both of them as far as model goes you'd be making a good buy but I think bringing two rods down would be appropriate. Definitely a nine weight for your number one. And then if you had a backup rod, it could be an eight would be my personal preference. Tens would be pretty heavy for a lot of this technical casting and fishing. I think they'll hit the water hard and you really don't need that rod weight. So those are my setups. Uh, follow us uh, on Instagram, subscribe to the channel and uh, follow us down here and come with us to Campeche and fish for some tarpon sometime.